And now I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers mm. and the right side cone. Mm. So what I needed to do was to find out if my protocol was correct. So I see that there's a line coming down here like this. See it? Okay, and now if I peel one layer off, that's what he did. He peeled the layers off and cut them off. Okay, and they're still going down. Get to the third layer. Well, not quite as much. I get to the middle layer, just straight across. So now, I have to do a paradox. I have to do a reversal. Instead of going down, I have to go up. Instead of going down, I have to go up. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to start here. I'm going to take off another layer. It's a middle layer. Okay, so I take this and peel this. Aha! Uh -huh. starting to go up. Now it is going up. And now, it's exactly the eight layer. Simple, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but at least now, uh, cardiologists will know exactly what layer among the eight, okay, what the angle is by the simple method of looking at this. Mm -hmm. All they have to do is just roll this up. And they'll find, oh boy, that part right there, that's where the bullet went in. Or whatever. <laughs> Okay, I'm starting a new research center. This research center opened a week from today. Uh, and I'm going to show you the things that are going to be studied there. And then I'll be done with my lecture. So one of the things that I will be studying is this. This is a new thing that I have developed. Uh, this is a chest heater inside. And then there's a, a little deck of tree on the outside which is the 13-sided form. This gets kind of... This is the first one I ever made, so it's... Uh, in the trip, it kind of got banged up a little bit, but that's okay. I can probably get it back. Take a little time. It's worth it to see what this does. Um, so the outside here is the decatria, which is 13. The inside is a 7, which is the chestahedron. And then the outside of the decatria is another chestahedron. So this is the chestahedron with a dual in it with the chestahedron around it. Okay, so I had to try to figure out how I can spin all those in the same different directions on the same shaft. Because this chiropractor said that he took my farm and put it on a turntable just like this that comes from the jewelry store. And he wanted to get his therapy room clear of the energy of the person that just left. And also he wanted to clear the energy in his house at the end of the day. He tried this on a turntable and it cleared his house out within two hours. His house is 90 feet long. And he said the third day he went down to check his mail at five acres around his house. He could feel the energy five acres. Okay, and this guy has written books on this. He's really good. He's not a he's he's a famous guy. So what I did was I tried to figure out for him how to turn them all in different directions, and I figured out they are turning at different speed on the same shaft at three directions, and this right here is so powerful because I put a tourmaline crystal in the very center of the chestahedron. And the base, I put a rose quartz slab and increase the energy way up. So what I'm going to do in this research center, we're going to test this on plants. I'm going to try to test it in a factory because this will fill this room. Within an hour and a half, this room will be filled with this energy. Okay, so that's going to be tested and this research center, and I'm inviting anybody to come who's interested in studying the unseen. Okay. This device is called a CBO, and I call it the Chester Vortex Organizer. 
because this device here, okay, I feel is going to be a uh, revolutionary water treatment. Okay, and I'll show you why. Uh, well, here's the way that the, I'm showing the way the, the whole thing works that you know now. Okay, here's the heart, and there is the, the triangle, the mitred valve, the two circles, just like in the earth. Same on the real heart. Okay, now watch this. This is, uh, see if I can get this to work. I don't know if I can or not. I'm going to try, but in this one here, you will see uh, about the size of, uh, I don't know, maybe a small tennis ball or small. Let's see if I can get this to play. Um, Mm. Mm, let's see how I'm going to get this to put. Wait, let's try this. I'm going to go up here and I'll push play. Ah, uh, this might work. Let's see. Oh, no, it's not working. Well, some computer for anyway, going to find out. Here's a small one that's causing a vortex in a sphere. Um, look at that. Wow. Now, this is about the size of a golf ball. Okay, and all I have to do is take an electric, there I am with a drill. So like, like that, and it just, just sucks right in there, and then it implodes. And all the stuff at the bottom completely covers the whole thing eventually. Um, here are the devices that I've worked on already that are mixing two vortexes in opposite directions. And this is the way that medicine, they want to uh, start mixing medicines like this because um, I, uh, uh, initiative uh, Rudolf Steiner said, uh, that, which has inspired my work, said that if you brought two vortexes together like this, and you brought certain chemicals that she named, okay, that this would be like salt on the table. Everyone would be taking it because it brings in a direct forces. These are the unseen forces. Uh, life forces, let me call them that one. Life forces. Okay, so here's a, a double. That'll be floating in ponds and turning it in opposite directions with floaters on. There's another picture of it. This is what's going to be studied in the center. Um, now, I just really wish that I could get this to play. This is just amazing stuff. You know, I can, does anybody know how to do this? Yeah, come somebody uh, with a computer skill. Better than I do. I mean, I can go, uh, let's see if I can get it to play here. You know, I can usually... Here it is. Yay. Okay, this is the size of an orange. And this is spinning in a pool. And what you're going to see is you're going to see a vortex that's forming. See it? Yeah. yeah. And it goes down and all of a sudden... Well, it's going to start again. They couldn't believe it the first time what happened. Here it is here. It gets a vortex first. And the vortex goes into the device. And then all of a sudden there's bubbles everywhere and little tiny vortexes over the whole pool. And then, after he adjusts it a little bit, you'll see him adjust. Look at what's happening in the water. Can you see yeah. that? Yeah. I know if the lights are off, it'd be really great. But then, all of a sudden, there's an implosion. It goes over the whole pool. Look at this. The guy will point it out. That's what's happening. All right, there's the vortex. See all the bubbles everywhere? Yeah. yeah. Then he'll adjust it to get it 36 degrees. And then all of a sudden you'll see that it's pressure on a vacuum. Now watch this. Watch what happens. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, what wow. is that? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. All I know is. Taylor made this. And he took the decatria and he stellated all the edges until it became. Point. Nice, Richard. That's a hint, and that's something. Could have, could have happened over here, but but this is a stellation, okay? And there's something going on here too that can be studied. I know there's another form in here, and this is remember, this is a stellation of this little guy. Look at that! Isn't that amazing? That's beautiful. What is that? It's a pointy. <laughs> and of course, this is an inversion. Uh, what comes towards you comes to me at the same time. So as it's going towards you, it's coming back to me. So whatever I give you, 
going to come back, so I've got to be careful, right? <laughs> no, no. All right, so inside here, there's a form. And that form is called an oil. And this was developed by a man in Switzerland called Schatz. And he said this is the form inside that, and it is. And this is being used to mix explosives because it's so gentle. It's also used to uh, aerate water. Okay, so I did the same thing with the seven-sided form. And this is what the seven-sided form looks like in an inversion. Oh. Not a straight line anywhere, and it has this sort of Halloween, or not Halloween, but uh, Valentine kind of thing <laughs> that gave me the first indication that this might be the heart. I had found this first. But it's, uh, it's a beautiful form in that it's, it's, it's like Mary's love for her son. It's the love of two coming together, the one over the other, okay, and balancing in all curves. Uh, and I have uh, made one nine feet high. And this will be, okay, also used in the transformation of substances, unseen. Um, so if I could ask Faith Moore to come up here and tell her, she's helping out with the research center, and she's just going to talk about, uh, oh, let's see what she talks about. Let's see what I talk about. I have an idea, Frank. I know exactly what you need. He needs some deadlines. Look what he did, getting ready for this. And so he worked so hard, and he told me all about it, and he had a deadline. I did. I had a deadline. Oh my for, gosh! I was working the day this. before on this baby. To come here. <laughs> and so imagine with the new facility, 2,000 square feet, a seed ground that has come in, and the space with a woodworking and a metal shop. What Frank can begin to do now. And not only that, he needs all of you. He needs all the people around the world that want to bring art and science together. They want to take their own dreams and ideas and collaborate with those that want to do that with him and with each other. We need a lot of space for conversations. We need some deadlines, Frank. <laughs> it's, um, it's amazing what Frank has done and what he has brought, and it affects all of us in a myriad of different ways. We'll discover them as time goes by and many, many, many centuries into the future. So you can find a book on the internet that um, Seth has written about Frank and his work. And it's wonderful to be able to slowly look at it in this form and then go into your sleep, as Frank suggested earlier, and to look very closely at many years of work and research that he's done. You can find it at frankchester.com. And uh, I was on Amazon the other day, and somehow they have cut the price, no wonder. You can look for it there also. Take this invitation very seriously, please. You can carve them down there and help us begin a new beginning. And I'm going to be down there thinking up some deadlines <laughs> and who we can collaborate with. And watch Frank go. <laughs> and and you too. Go. There's many here now that could fulfill some dreams, some thoughts, some conversation. No telling what. On any level of life. Could be a heart question. Could be any kind of a question. And then start to imagine working with polarities, inverse, reversing, convolutions. It is a, um, it's really beginning now. Please come help. Feel free to donate at the bottom of the invitation is where that can be done. There's a nonprofit now that is accepting donations to Frank. And then we hope by summer that we have his own nonprofit associated with new form technology in place. Stay in touch with us. Please come visit. Call with questions. Um, we are all here for you. Thank you. The finish off is that I can't do all this alone. I have been for 13 years in a living room. Okay, not to where my studio is, my living room. Um, uh, there's time now for other people to take this process. You see, what you saw tonight was a process. Don't look at the forms. The, the forms are beautiful, but that's not what it's all about. What it's all about is how I did it. 
and I'm willing to teach anybody how to do what I did because there's so much work to be done. I have six forms that have never been in the world before that need work. I still have lots to do with the seven. I don't have anything to do with these other ones, the seven. Um, uh, so I need help, and also I need uh, uh, if you have any way of giving any support that's a tax write-off, okay, to this. Is it a medical group, Raphael Medical Group, or Art Everywhere will accept donations. And if it's, it's a, a larger donations, are, uh, I reimburse sculptures. So I have sculptures that are worth $15,000. Beautiful <coughs> sculptures like this that are based upon the inside of, the, of this heart shape. And all, all the way down into smaller forms that don't cost as much money. So if you do give money, it's not like you're not going to get anything back. Okay? I'm going to give you something, either something I signed or, or whatever. So this is to help research to go on because you see, when I look at the flower of life, it took 13 years to go from my first start, which you saw, to the, today, 13 years. And it took a, a circle, a circuit. And it took a circle, and that circle went up like in a spiral until it started here, and it went spiraled around until it got to here. Now all that new work that you saw is happening. This spiral is going to continue again, but the spiral is going to get smaller. I'm going to come back to this point again quicker, but the problem is, is that the spiral is getting smaller until I'm gone. And so there's not much, there's not a lot of spirals in it. So before they run out, I wanted to start this research center so that more can be developed based on this so that we can find out more of the unseen and how it's studied and how it can be proved and how there's a possibility that there could be something out there, who knows, but there is that question. Uh -huh. And now so when you have a good question, you can look for a good answer because a good, the next question can only be good if the answer is good. So, what I'm asking is that uh, if you can help, do it. If you can't, I'm still going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to work no matter what happens, okay? Because no matter what has happened here, it's, it'll be the same thing. But I can reach more people to do more if I have help. And somebody volunteered this big factory space, and then a medical group gave me a startup money. So now I can order things. I can order oxygen testers. I can, I can order balancers. Uh, I can order um, the chambers that I need to study the vortexes. I have a vortex machine I made like this, about this high, that creates a vortex. I can control the speed of it, the height of it, the shape of it, all of that. But it's too much for me to do alone. I need somebody living else room. to study the vortexes <laughs> in this machine. Because I'm telling you that the vortexes, one of the studies would be just fantastic, is that the vortexes that are created by either slowing it down or by speeding up indicates all the horns in the animals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The cuda horn. I know how the cuda horn comes. The cuda horn, okay, is slowing down. Some horns are speeding up. Okay, I have time to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and all this other kind of stuff. So that's why this research center is great. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, I try. Thank you very much. Oh.